Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legacy. Yeah, we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones is ready to engage yet again. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. John. Herb Dean, our third man Great in the fight. octagon for this Great. one. Great. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Here we go early round one. We talked about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call apart. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Him with the jab on the counter. Try to establish that jab. Oh, lands a huge left hand. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, big up. So just 
just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Barely missed on an uppercut right here in the inside. Oh, the kick landed. Three minutes. Right on the button. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Misses with the right hand. Back and forth we go. Man, his jab is good. There it is. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Fighter lands a left punch now. And that one certainly found the target. What a nasty kick. That was going with ill intent. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Jones's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Unable to connect with him. Oh! oh, big left hand! All right, so John Jones having his way with an opponent as we have come to expect in the octagon. He's got the long-range weaponry going tonight. I mean, it's the striking of Jones, his ability to set traps, and his ability to make you fight his fight at his range. When you can't close the distance on Jones, you will have problems. That's exactly what's happening with his opponent tonight. He has not been able to get close enough to find success. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Jones' shot is blocked. Lands a hook there. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken Ready far to too many. Ready. Ready. All right, round two. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Rip the body there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and not only cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, that punch, no good. Well, this
this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Investing in the body with the kick there. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, nice kick. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. soccer. Jones is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Two minutes remain in the round. Effective use of the jab there. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good combination there. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, my goodness. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to... Oh, huge right hand! Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Jones has been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Final seconds here. Huh. Good run. Huh. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Don't be stupid. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. 
not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Jones is really bleeding heavily now. You've got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, back and forth to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, that's another hook. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, my goodness! Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Well, left hook to the head. It's blocked. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to get wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just misses with a left hook there. That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt bad. Straight punch land. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big power shot there. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Oh! oh and he switches to southpaw. Jones's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. Oh, hurt. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, gets back to his feet. Oh, a big right hand. Man, the bruising on that calf is out of control. I need to do some calf raises next week, build up some muscle. My I God. mean, you're taking it by osmosis. You're not even getting kicked. You're like, man, this hurts so bad to even watch. Tremendous game plan by this guy. Leg kick. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Let's get back out here. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Jones's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. 
and we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy you're like fight. this. If he doesn't change Ready. something, he's going to find himself Go. in trouble. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Jones is an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Back to the jab now, no good. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Lands the lead left punch. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, left hand. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Jones is limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damaged, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Just over two minutes to go. Jones is now switching his stance. Oh, good block there. Well, not sure. Back to the feet now. with that right hand. Don't wait. You hit it first. He's doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now. And he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, that strike landed, not going to help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You got to look at that thing. You got to look at that work that you've done. 
You got to take that canvas and you got to... Oh! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? These guys are leaking all over each other. Oh! Right hand in. There you go. Final seconds. As we go, and that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. What a kick. That one landed. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. No doubt. Nice shot there by the champ. What a fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. What a knockout for John Jones. Perhaps a bonus winning effort for him here tonight. Competitive matchup, at least on paper, but didn't play out that way tonight, DC. Well, Jones has shown and proves once again why he's so highly regarded in the history of the sport of mixed martial arts. He understands fighting at a level that not many do, and he shows by knocking this guy out, by getting the knockout victory that he wanted so badly.